<sighs> Why the smile? I could use this cleaning bot. Really? This old thing? What about Tidy? Exactly. With this, I would never need him in my room ever again. I want it. Okay, but it's broken. Oh, come on. I can repair this thing. I'll buy it for... Hmm, a thousand unis. That much? Deal. Yes! Not such a bad day after all. Sorry for earlier. Uh, tell me more about your work. Currently, I strive to improve the nanite's efficiency. Could these be used to kill someone? Doubtful, but technically possible. With bad programming, they could destroy the host. But we've been working on this technology for a while now. This never happens. Although... Hmm. Go ahead. Destructive effects can happen if the nanites were mixed with specific organic elements. Such as... Corrosive acid? That would definitely leave some traces. Could it be possible to destroy a body without external damage? I think I encountered some plants with this ailment. I would have to check my logs. Well, let's just assume it happened. How would we know? The nanites are trained for survival. Once the host is near death, they leave. But they couldn't last long on the outside. You'd find inactive nanites less than three feet away from the body. I'd better check the surroundings for any nanites in unexpected places. Can't see them with my own eyes, but I'm sure I have the right tool for the job. I know it'll sound harsh, but do you believe Dr. Hush committed suicide? I can't deny that he had been acting strange recently, so I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility. I just find it weird he would do this in my office. Unless he really hated you. Do you think Tidy could have played a role in the murder? I don't see how. He cannot access my office. Besides, Dr. Hush is his maker. He could never... Hurt his creator directly? Yeah. Uh, let's keep some distance with that reasoning. My trust with technology is limited. A true detective never turns down any lead. When can we expect the result of your investigation? Uh, well, no. I didn't finish interrogating everyone. <laughs> you sure did interrogate me. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. Listen, I'd like to amend for my behavior earlier. My tablet offers a variety of features that you may find useful. So it's not just your research? You hid this from us? No. These features seemed unrelated to the case. But after what we've learned, I'm not sure anymore. Let me give you access. Lend me your finger. Hey! I'm adding you to the authorized guests. You'll have unlimited access for an hour. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Yep, here's that ladder. A rudimentary maintenance ladder, more precisely. It doesn't really feel safe. Do you access it sometimes? Are you crazy? I fear heights. Okay. Time to explore. Are you sure about this, Mr. Brock? No other choice. We can't let any possible clue undiscovered. No, I mean, will there be enough room for you to get through? Hey, I'm not that big. You'll see. Oof, that's tight. Ugh, maybe time for a diet after all. Hey, what did I just touch? Ugh, it's all sticky. Oh, it tastes good. I've lit it up for you. Nice. Yep, that's interesting. There's tomato sauce. What's it doing here? Hmm. I'll think about this later. Better get out of here before I get stuck. There's some kind of huge pipe at the top. 
Can't climb through there, I'm afraid. Then, uh, I shall keep moving forward to reach the other side. Ouch! Oh, that was quite the drop. Huh. That's a vent, right? Yes. There's one in my room, also. How does that trap open? Hmm. I think you need to press that lever next to it. But that's unreachable. You're supposed to use a ladder, obviously. There's one attached in my room, but there's not one here. Seems so. That tablet might contain crucial information, but it's locked. Hmm. I'd better take it. Some kind of grease spot. Oh, did you just lick the floor? Hmm. Gotta be certain. Well, that's coffee. This is the same model as the one next to Dr. Hush. I should take it. Hmm. According to the map... What are you doing? Something's off. What do you mean, Mr. Brock? Just a hunch. Huh. Oh! You broke the wall? I barely touched it. Some paper-thin slab was obstructing this. A hole? Looks like it. And this leads right to your room, Dr. Mink. I had no idea. It's small. No one would fit. I wonder if anything got through there, though. That's up to us to find out. Hmm. Upon further inspection, uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots from Dr. Mink, though. Anything you can tell me about this lamp? It's supposed to be yours, right? I guess. That's a connected object, of course. So there's data in it. You should check it. Better take it, then. Huh. Hey, it works! What? Dr. Hush's tablet! It unlocked! I'm surprised. I thought this wouldn't happen, considering... Well, you thought wrong. Let's see what this baby has to offer. Hmm... Looks like he transferred some data. Let me see. You're right. That's an external file transfer of his current project. AI Update 302-305.zyl. Is that unusual? Of course not. We regularly transfer files to our managers. Although, the receipt address is obscured. What does this mean? I can't really know who received the file, but considering the metadata, this must be someone high-ranked. Wait, I just noticed. That file was modified yesterday, but it was created in... 3029? Six years ago? Well, that makes no sense. There must be a bug in the OS. Do you think this might be linked to our case, Mr. Brock? A transfer at 445. That must definitely be important. <laughs> Will Dr. Hush's lamp reveal some secrets? Uh huh. What? So. Fatal damage early this morning? Curious. Let's see what the supposed murder weapon has to say. Huh. All necessary stuff for a lamp. For sure. Huh? Maybe they exchanged them by accident? Here are the logs. Hmm. There. Major shock at 1102. Let me check. 
Hmm. You're right. That's the only relevant information on there. So, is this the murder weapon after all? We shall find out. Dr. Mink, when we arrived, I heard some music coming out of your room. Well, it's in my best interest to put all my cards on the table. So, yes, I allowed myself a short, fun seance. Oh, and here I thought you scientists were just a bunch of workaholics. So, you were dancing? Please don't rub salt in the wound. What music? Is that important? Might be. Oh, tech dream. It's a very catchy tune. I can never get it out of my head. Where in the room were you positioned when you were dense, uh, having fun? Hmm. I believe I was close to the door. I stopped when I heard you knocking and took a peek at the door screen. Did you notice anything unusual by that time? If I did, I would have told you already. I just heard you knocking and then I opened the door. Well, that's the short version. That's when we saw the body which just popped out of nowhere. Okay. Thanks for the info. Do you wish to watch a livey? Not now. You're lying, but that's fine. Other actions are available. Say or think help to get a list. Hmm. Help. Mm. Error. Unable to connect. Reverting to offline mode. One record found. Would you like to play it? A record? Why not? I'm in the restroom. That's Dr. Hush's voice. He must have recorded this by accident. That happens sometimes. An accident? Food. Nothing particularly. Wait a minute. What's wrong? There should be hamburgers in there. I ate the last one a while ago. I should have ordered more automatically. Oh, I forgot. External communication is out. You ate an ant burger? Tell me more about it. How is that interesting? You never know. Well, I have some kind of ritual. I always have an ant burger while watching my science show. This morning I got pretty angry though. There was only one left, and it was already unfrozen. Curious. Do you think Dr. Hush wanted to eat it? Possibly, though he usually dislikes these, and it was in one piece. I bet he gave it a shot and then decided against it. Yeah. I should inspect this further. Only one way to do it. Couldn't you do this more gently? I don't have all day, you know. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Looks like pills? Yep, definitely pills. Whose are they? Don't look at me. I've never seen those. Is Dr. Hush taking some medication? That's highly probable. No one else lives here. Keep in mind, I've barely had contact with him lately. Maybe you should analyze them. Good idea. I'm surprised to see only one cup in here. Doesn't Dr. Hush drink coffee? He does. Actually, he always drinks his coffee in the restroom. I know him. He couldn't bear spilling a few drops on his precious materials while working in his office. But he uses autodegradable cups. Throw them into the sink and they're automatically reduced into powder. I prefer solid cups. I don't care what they say about lack of hygiene or whatever. Coffee tastes better in it. Yeah, I can relate to that. Excel 500? Never heard of it. Mr. Brock, I think we can use that tablet to do medical searches. Of course. This is data I've gathered myself, merged with a specialized local copy of the TriWeb. 
I have an offline access to information that the general public will never see. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Hmm. That's a drug for patients suffering from defective organs, acting slower than normal. Sounds more like an ad than medication. Dr. Mink, did you know your colleague took these? No, but that does make sense. We don't exactly have a lot of physical activity. I don't take this. I prefer the all-in-one menu. All-in-one? It's regular powder food with stimulants incorporating the exact and appropriate dose of food based on our medical tracking. Huh. Nothing surprises me anymore. Again? I'm gonna solve this myself. That'll be faster. <laughs> You'd better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one. Do you believe Dr. Mink has the profile of a murderer? Hmm. Possibly. I could feel the tension between them lately. In any case, I don't know what happened. When not claimed, you'd have noticed if Dr. Hush had stayed in the hall. You hesitated. <gasps> you didn't watch the whole thing, did you? No way, man! I'm a professional! But still a human. Don't you have to go to the bathroom sometimes? I don't. Only the most capable are selected for this job. We can't afford to miss anything! Hmm. Can you swear it, then? No one could have went by without you noticing? Yeah? Yeah, I swear it. I, I was there the whole time. Watching. <sighs> he doesn't sound all that confident. Listen. Earlier you affirmed Dr. Hush exited his office for the restroom. When did this happen exactly? Hmm. Can't remember. Sometime after I arrived. This is crucial. I need you to be precise. Hey! Do you know what kind of job this is? The same boring thing every day. No surprise, no action, nothing ever happens. Well, usually. Oh, how lucky. Uh, Never mind. Make some effort. What happened the last time Dr. Hush exited his room? When and where did he go? Told ya! Ugh, my brain wouldn't register such trivial things. But there's a way to find out. What's this? The door monitoring. What? You keep a registry of door openings? And you're only telling me now? I thought this wouldn't be important. Not important? How the heck are we supposed to run this investigation without all the information at hand? Hey, lower your tone. I'm the boss here. This is highly confidential data. Only security agents are allowed to access the reading device. But I'll make a special exception. Check it. Come on, do your job. What do you think I'm doing? Don't know, and that's the problem. What am I looking at? This is today's monitoring. That thing records the time each door was opened. And some icons to differentiate an entrance or an exit. I see. An arrow on the left for an entrance, on the right for an exit? Yeah. There's also the identity of who opened the room. Everyone's recorded. What about Tidy? The maintenance bot. Yeah, tracked as well. Okay. Okay, let's study this. Dr. Hush's room. If I'm reading this correctly, Dr. Hush was last recorded at 5.04, then disappeared. Wait a sec. Why did you open that door at 5.10? Told ya, I checked the rooms regularly. Right after the doctor went out? Uh, seems so. My memory is confused. Hmm. The restroom. Hmm. A lot more activity than I expected. Uh, Tidy was last recorded entering there at 424. Nothing later. Even in the other rooms. Dr. Mink's room? What a surprise. Despite the corpse being in Dr. Mink's room, not much activity was recorded there. Basically, 
Dr. Ming went out, then came back a little later. The time matches the restrooms. I guess he simply went for a rest? In any case, Dr. Hush never opened the door. Neither did Tidy. That doesn't make much sense, but at least it confirms Dr. Mink's statement. What's this fourth door? The main entrance. Wait, didn't you say no one came or exited the place today? Then how do you explain these records? That was you. At 4.38? Uh, um... Wait! I know! That was me! I took my shift at 4.38. Is that so? <clears throat> nice scent. That'll be ten unis. What? <laughs> Just kidding. But next time avoid crippling my precious plant right in front of me. If it's that precious, I'm gonna keep it. Got more questions. A mystery can only be solved by gathering truthful information. Don't you agree? Sure. Then why are you lying to me? What are you talking about? Don't play fool with me. Some of your statements are clearly contradictory. Oh yeah? Can you remind me, when do you take your shift? Three o'clock, every day. Interesting. Then how do you explain entering the lab at 4.38? What? I didn't... Check the monitoring. What's written? 4.38. Besides, the arrow indicates an exit, not an entrance. You owe me an explanation. Uh, all right, I admit. I did take my shift at 3, and the door was indeed open at 4.38, but I didn't lie. It was me. We're not only agents. We also do secretarial work. By 4.38, I received a call. We're required to pick up and reply to every call we get, but it didn't work. What do you mean? This is a high security building, so uh, external calls don't work well. The line was awful, all full of crackling. I'm stunned that kind of thing happens in the drums. But it does! If you ask me, no matter how they claim technology advances, nothing ever works perfectly. When that happens, I open the main entrance so the transmission gets better. So, you stood at the main door for a while? Yep. Who was on the line? Don't know. It was just music. Music? Yeah, tech dream. Hmm. This sounds familiar. Of course, it's all the rage. It's really catchy, so I kept listening. How long? Oh, well, maybe a minute. After a while, I figured this was a spam call and hung up. I know what you think. Yeah, I looked away. But it wasn't much risk. The lasers were active. No one could get past, in or out. But anything could happen inside. Oh, this is a major blunder. Why'd you think I didn't tell you? Didn't think much of it at the time, but when you started your investigation, I recalled that moment. Please, I'm begging you! Don't tell anyone! That mistake could cost me my job! Well... I won't tell anyone. I mean, must be insanely tough to keep watch all day at the same spot and doing nothing else. <sighs> I'm so glad you understand, man. Still, that's an important event for this investigation. Sure. Oh, I hope my blunder didn't get the poor chap killed. We shall see. I'm not done with you, though. How come there's no record of your entrance at 3? Simple. I reset the statistics each time I arrive. For confidentiality, we're not allowed to store them for more than a day. And I can't get that freaking configuration panel to do the job automatically! Must have been programmed by some crazy engineer who's not living in the real world. I know the feeling. Didn't you mention you had no control? It's all or nothing. There's no way to insert or edit data. Just remove everything. Okay. Doesn't matter. Dr. Hush was safe and sound when I arrived. Guess I'll have to take your word for that one.
According to the records, you opened Dr. Hush's door at 5.10. At the exact moment, Dr. Hush's lamp received a violent shock. Interesting coincidence, don't you think? A uh, shock? Did you accidentally drop the lamp or something? No, never touched it. I've also noticed something unusual. At 9 o'clock, you routinely checked all three rooms. However, at 5.10, you only opened Dr. Hush's door. Why? Um... Oh, I remember now. I heard a noise. Is that so? Might this be... the sound of a lamp crashing down on the floor? Hmm, I guess that's possible. But when I looked inside, everything was normal. Are you certain? Yeah, Dr. Hush always keeps his room tidy. If that lamp was lying on the floor, I'd have noticed. Was Tidy there? I'm pretty sure he was down, charging. What about Dr. Hush, then? What was he doing? Let me think. Uh, mm, I didn't see him. You didn't? Pretty sure of it. He wasn't in the hall, either. So he was already gone from his room? Yeah, must have been. Interesting. Something doesn't add up. At 5.10, you heard a noise and looked for Dr. Hush, who wasn't in his room nor the hall. Yeah. Then, the glaring contradiction is, weren't you worried? What? Think. You had no idea where Dr. Hush was, and yet you didn't look for him in the other rooms? Why? You're right. I only started to worry about him disappearing at 9, but... I can't remember the reason I wasn't alerted earlier. Well, I have my theory. You do? Yeah. This is the reason you weren't worried at that time. I made a strange discovery in the restroom. At 5.11, the meaty me played a pre-recorded sample sounding like Dr. Hush. What did it say? I'm in the restroom. <coughs> Ring any bells? Yeah, sure it does. You're right. When I started calling for Dr. Hush, I heard him say that. The voice came from the restroom, so... You assumed Dr. Hush was in there. So, he wasn't? This would be the logical conclusion, which then means... The old man was kaput before that time. Let's not jump to conclusions and assume he couldn't be in the restroom either. Oh, that was quite a messed up day. So, uh, are we done? Depends. Hiding anything else? Nope. All good. Still can't believe it. Why did this have to happen during my watch? I've learned not to blame fate. Otherwise, I do it constantly. Just let me know if anything else comes to mind. Sure thing. So, what's this flower? Phonexy? Hmm, I wonder if this has particular medical effects. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Isn't that the plant lying on Mr. Guard's desk? Yep. Okay, I don't quite understand why you need info on this, but you're the detective. I found something! Uh... What's going on? Something's annotated below. Psst. Do you think? Yeah, Dr. Mink must have written this. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. Hmm. I've seen this somewhere already. Just a moment. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others. Dad, Daddy. Still dead. I'm afraid so. Okay. 
da, da. Hmm. What? Don't eat those. They're clues. But I'm hungry. get totally destroyed. Hey, I recognize it. That's the wrapping for McFlee's flagship ant burger with extra tomato sauce. My favorites. So, detective, how long is this going to take? Are you done investigating? I'm certain I've missed one. Maybe I... Be patient. This isn't an ordinary case. Oh, too bad. All this stress is killing me. I'll look around for... You better find... This leads to Dr. Hush's room. What a surprise. I'm hoping you'll fix this before leaving. What about your bot minion, huh? I'd like to see him try. Right. I forgot it could. It can? Of course. We wouldn't do that kind of laborious job ourselves. Huh. For an instant, I forgot who I was talking to. Well, I'm almost glad to see you. This leads to Dr. Can you really insert such big things in a body without doing damage? What you see on this table is actually a reproduction at 10,000th the scale to make them easier to work with. They aren't visible with the naked eye. Must be hard to handle. True. Only a few experienced engineers like myself can do that kind of work. Does pretentious go along with this job? Hey, Tidy. Just a hunch. Did Dr. Hush put out that ramp for you? Yup, yup. For me. So I can access the table. Got made and modified. For me. Is that so? Makes sense. Bots weigh tons and cannot jump over there. Now I feel I've got all the hints I need. Time to gather, everyone. Let's talk to Dr. Mink. So, Detective... How long is this going to take? Are you done investigating? Yes. I'm ready to expose the truth. Impressive. Let's begin then. 